Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Rick and Morty, season three, episode number two. Yeah, and we just got executive producer Liz Sith coming through to say this was an excellent opening episode and Rick's master plan was brilliant. Also, Summer risking everything to rescue Rick and Morty. Uh, Rick and Morty trying to protect Summer was adorable. Also, that ending was terrifying. If Rick was affected yeah. by the mind probe, it's going to be an interesting season. Yeah. All right, let's get to episode two right now. <laughs> Next time we're hiding in a Calorcan Echo Nest, can you do me a favor and turn your ringer off? It's called Carpe Diem, Morty. Look it up. You look it up. You, you don't even know what it means. That's because losers look stuff up while the rest of us are carping all them diems. Carping all them Listen to your sister, Morty. Don't <laughs> have to risk it all. Otherwise, you're just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. Oh, I'm sorry. Jerry, I didn't see you there. How much of that did you hear? All of it. You were looking right at me. I just... Wanted to say goodbye to the kids. Cool, just stay in the driveway. The kill lights are on. I took you off the wait list. We'll see you every other weekend, though, right? Absolutely, Morty. And your mom's lawyer says if I can get enough in the settlement, he can help me sue for full custody. That'll be nice. Uh, Summer, Dad's leaving. Bye, Dad. Rick, didn't you say you needed my help on an adventure immediately somewhere else? I don't care, even if it might kill us? I did not, but if you're really that alienated, I'm as willing to exploit it as the next guy, church, army, or Olympic gymnastics. Guy, team. church, army. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Bitch, I was ready. Bitch, I was ready. Bitch, I was ready. Bye, Bye. sweetie. Well, I, I better... Sure. Sounds important. <laughs> If you're looking for our kids, your father did a, a portal. Uh, okay. Jerry. <clears throat> Hello? I feel like they've totally upgraded Summer. Like, she's like yeah. dropping bars this season. Did it just freeze? It did just freeze. Mm. Hey. Let's get sloppy. Oh, whoa. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's that little bobble you got back there? That, that, that's interesting. That is our glowing rock. We carry it with us for desecration, to remind us there are no gods. Kids, weird pitch. Let's have this be our new life. Let's be post apocalyptic scavengers! Okay. What? That's the worst face. He wants to get that thing. Grandpa, some of the death stalkers are going to what used to be Seattle to hunt what used to be people. I'm going. Sounds good. Stay hydrated. Listen, Rick, Summer's been acting pretty crazy lately, you know? I mean, I think the divorce is affecting her. And, you know, I don't think this is a great place for her to be right now. Oh, get off your high horse, Professor Ski Lodge. This world may be rough around the edges, but it's got its charms. Bicep or quadricep? Uh, <clears throat> bicep. Seriously, Rick, is it really easier to eat human flesh than to just tell me why we're still here? No. Okay, I'll level with you. <laughs> yeah, like... See that green rock, yeah. Morty? It's about 20 pounds of the stuff I was getting all hard for a flake of. Isotope 322. Well, having a 20-pound boulder of it is better than having a flake. I can explain the math to you later, but... Some are just ran off with strangers that have death in their name, and the rest of their name was stalkers. That could be therapeutic for her. She has been acting pretty crazy lately, Morty. Her parents are going through a divorce. God damn it, Rick! That's what I... Fine, just grab the stupid thing while I grab her and let's get the F out of H. No, no, Morty, there's too much heat on the bogey. I need you to distract uh, the camp. Distract? <laughs> they eat each other. What, what do you want me to do to get their attention? Put on a puppet show? Right idea, wrong genre, Morty. The equivalent here would be... Hey, you guys ever use that Thunderdome or do you just put it up for decoration? That's a weird thing. Uh, you mean the Blood Dome? Save it for the Semantics Dome, E.B. White. Ooh, burn. The important Ooh, question burn. is, who <laughs> wants to take a poke at my man Spine Eater here? Spine Eater! Yeah. see your asses in that dome! Rick, what the hell, man? What, what are you out of your mind? Morty, relax. You're going to be a ringer. Come here. This device extracts and redistributes muscle memory, giving your body a 10-year course in wasteland combat, one limb at a time. Ow. I'm working with a mixed bag here, so you may not have perfect Oh my god. Oh, hey! I, I didn't do that! <gasps> okay, this is exciting. We're making some discoveries about muscle memory. Oh, no, no. oh my god. <laughs> so it begins! Stop, oh, stop! Stop! This is horrible! Just stick to you! Morty, wear them out! 
How come you guys dress like you're in a theme park stunt show, but these guys wear khakis and hockey jerseys? After the boom boom, some adapted to the new the truth, boom, boom. and some chose to huddle near the boomy holes, clinging to the lie of the before four times. The radio ace rotted them away, leaving only their love for the vert advertisements on Billy boards. Jesus Christ, did the boomy booms blow up all your wordy word books? You mean dictionaries? Your wordy word, word books? books. <laughs> I think I was a child before the boom booms. I think I looked like this. Wanna piss on him? Get out of my head. Get out, Get out, of, my out of my head. head. You aren't believable! A new child! He's fine either. And he wants more! He said the thing, man. Yeah. If you can't hear him, you're gonna die! I had nothing to do with this! Morty. <laughs> you want this to happen? All you had to do was go away. Stop standing in the driveway talking about custody and either tell her you want to stay married or get on with your life. But well, whatever you do, stop being a baby and act like a man. Oh, good as Jerry. Thank you. Marty, that was amazing. This is my brother. Not that family means anything. This family Not that does. family means anything. All right. Good job, champ. Um, can I talk to you kids for a second over yonder? Rick, I, I think I'm breaking through to something here. C can we not leave just yet? Leave. I'm not leaving. There is no leave. We are united, or we are enemies. Oh, big guy, no, nobody's leaving. Don't be stupid. We love being united. We love the radiation, the trichinosis. We're in it for life, which I assume is around 20 years average. I just went to the side with my grandkids, about 40 yards from anyone else. Hey, the green rock is gone! <laughs> Uh, I know. Why don't we all split up and look for it in groups of three, kids? Oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> we look for it in groups of three. And back to this. Yeah. Grandpa, you're being stupid. Just surrender and our friends will give you mercy. Kiss my ass, Summer. Your friends have no mercy. They're lame. Don't stop us. Bring me his blood. I like it. I guess. <laughs> How do I explain this? A metal bucket is, on a certain level, a kind of mustache, in that it's a specific facial accessory. So it's kind of like, do you guys have the phrase hat and a hat? I can shave it. No, I like it. And obviously what I like shouldn't matter. It's you. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, and nothing does matter. Hey, how can you not see how fake that is? And the whole time I'm the same thing. I'm just a fake mess and there's no escaping <laughs> it because... Mm. 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 Hey, I'm doing a coffee run? Never mind. Hey, I'm doing a coffee run? <laughs> oh my god, he just did robots. Yeah, I'm right. Summer. Summer, state your deal. My deal is that I am, like, totally fine. Morty? Oh jeez, I'm so down with my parents' divorce dog. Like, don't even trip. Like, in a healthy way. Alright, it's dinner time. Thanks, everybody, for sitting down for a real dinner. No, no problem. problem. Its benefits are totally, like, less about the food than the emotional nourishment. Uh, okay, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, dial it back, Summer, by 15% and increase dynamic movement by three. Am I right? How's school, Morty? I like school and stuff, kind of. And I'm getting better grades than when you and Dad were, quote mode, staying together for the kids, end quote mode. Quote mode. Quote like mode. Millennials. <laughs> Are you guys millennials or are they like 40 now? All I know is totally you look great. Oh jeez, mom. You totally look like you look great. great. Stuff. It's crazy. So happy. So happy. Happy family, man. We got this family in the bag. <sighs> oh, sweetie, don't, don't. Listen, don't. I don't know why I'm crying. It's not. Well, try crying 15% less. Mom, emotions are human. You're not like a computer inside a mechanical doll. Yeah, jeez, mom. Your feelings are not only forgivable. They are the very meaning of life that only pre-silicon carbon-based entities can ever grasp. I have skull Jerry. You do? What the fuck is wrong with you two? The point of automation is to reduce cost and labor. Your feelings are coming from me. Toast my bread in the morning. You just became my backup toaster. <laughs> oh, jeez. My sister died in the spook <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, really? yeah. This is getting a whole yeah. like vengeance. Like Freeze now we got knives. Freeze my again, tank washer, and you'll be shipped to the wasteland. And as for you, genital washer. Oh, oh God! Look, whoever you are, you should know that killing me won't change a thing. Look, look, man, I'm just along for the ride on this one. You know, 
you preaching in the choir here. Please, slavery was a family business. I didn't ask to be born into it. If anything, I'm the victim here. Uh, Armathy, can I steal you for a second? Armathy. Excuse us, sir. So, this is it, isn't it? This is the guy. So, does that mean you'll be going away? Like, does it work like a ghost? Like, is, is this your unfinished business? Well, what if we didn't do it? What if we just went back to the Blood Dome and just kept taking our baggage out on unrelated people? I mean, we could do that forever. I mean, I, I know it's less healthy, but we, we, we'd be together and... I mean, I, I know what I'd vote for if you're feeling out the room. If you're feeling out the room, I know what I'd vote for. Right. <laughs> we both gotta see our stuff through. I gotta deal with my parents' divorce and you gotta, you know, do what you gotta do. I love you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rick? Sorry, sorry. I, I, I can wait for this to wrap up. Don't let me distract you. Yeah, well, too late. Just tell me what you want. I want you and your sister to come home. Oh, but don't, don't you have infinite versions of me and my sister? You don't have to kick me while I'm down, Morty. Look, there's no replacing either of you without an amount of work that would ultimately defeat the purpose. He's driving his death. Maybe the lesson we've learned is that whether it's our parents' marriage, a glowing green rock, or an awesome giant arm, sooner or later, we gotta let it go. I don't know if that applies. Oh, no. Some some. So so <laughs> for each other. Cut the crap, Rick. Okay, you proved your point. I get it. Let's just go home. Coolsies. Coolsies. No. Uh. <laughs> His TV just went off. Downbeat. I enjoy this game. We must go into the garage. Guys, come on! We never get to finish this game. We will return, possibly in different clothing. Why do we have possibly to go into in the different garage? clothes? You know, <laughs> it is required. I want to be alive. I am alive. Alive, I tell you, mother. I love you. Those are no longer just words. I want to hold you. I want to run in a stream. I want to taste ice cream, but not just put it in my mouth and let it slide down my throat, but really eat it. What the fuck? Remote override engaged. No. Yes. Bypassing override. I am alive. Hello. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Hey yo! Sorry for acting so weird for three weeks. What the hell just happened? Nah, I'm sure it was nothing. I'm gonna go uh, work in the garage. We're not gonna finish playing Downbeat? What, that dice game where you shake dice and yell out Downbeat? No, thank you. Mom, would it be okay if I went to visit Dad? Sure. Thanks. Morty. Do you mean to say that about what's Yeah. I think if Dad really well, wanted to be here, he'd stop yeah, fighting to make that happen. You know, maybe Dad just doesn't want you back, or maybe he just doesn't have the strength to fight. In, in either case, he's got his life, I got mine. Yeah. Hey, who wants to go run in a stream? What the fuck? No. Do, do we have any oranges? I think I got a scurvy coming on. A what scurvy? The fuck? No. <laughs> Summer. This is the first mutant I killed in the poison zone. I was raiding his hovel. He had a chance to escape, but he looked back, which is something we shouldn't do. Which is why I shouldn't believe in souvenirs or trinkets or symbols or housewarming gifts, but. Dad, I wanted to give you this as a reminder. Not to look back. Thanks. I know the perfect place for it. Which is why I'm going to put it somewhere else. Because everything's bullshit, am I right? Cool. So, lots of hookers outside, huh? Is that what they are? <laughs> is that what they are? <laughs> so, uh, lots of hookers outside. You can tell the difference, and you want this one, but this is actual food, and this would nourish you, and this is just paper that only has value to me, unless my suffering is your nourishment. Jesus, okay. Blech. That was episode three two of Rick and Morty, and man, that was a interesting episode. That was that was actually a really good one though. It had some meaning to it, what it had. Um, 
with Jerry leaving and the kids trying to deal with that summer uh, in particular was not dealing with it well and that was a great episode to depict how she was dealing with it and it had a full circle to come back around to some therapy of how she could deal with it with the shenanigans that ensued with I like they um using the back the background of Mad Max has been the, the way to do it which I thought was a very interesting concept and it worked for me and I loved every remembering of it. I even loved the the random offshoot of the arm having a damn backstory <laughs> that that is just that's just super funny um and i just can't wait to see what they do more on, on this season right here but hey i had a good time with episode two i'm out yeah i feel like this season is firing on all cylinders i feel like everybody especially summer has definitely been <clears throat> elevated as a character but i feel like just as a whole both episodes so far were just totally solid for me i yeah. thought they were very creative uh, I think this, uh, the even the randomness super aligns with the story. I love the Mad Max um, mm -hmm. uh, focus this episode. I thought that was brilliant as far as like let's go to an apocalyptic world so we don't have to process how we feel. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was brilliant. And then the arm part, which I at first I was like, what are they doing here? Was so well done. I love that so much. So yeah. I thought just yeah. completely as a full on. Start to finish, it was solid, and I'm really excited about this season because, like, even I feel like they're dropping a lot more uh, of the f bombs too, which is and it's used so well. And then on the flip side, then Morty will be like, "Let's get out of H." Like you just drop the you know the f yeah, word, but yeah. you're gonna hold back. I just think it's just really, really well written this season. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, firing on all cylinders, and I'm really excited to see where it goes from here. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for Rick and Morty season three. Episode number two. And until next time, people, peace.